Hello there everybody, my name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing Treasure Math Storm. This is just going to be a demonstration video, I'm not actually going to get all the way to the end of the game. I was going to, because I know a nice little cheat which lets you basically skip your way through the entire game. However, the cheat only works on the CD version, and I don't have the CD version anymore. So now I can't cheat my way and win the game. Oh well. Okay, so let's get started. My name is Michael. And in Treasure Mountain... Oh wait, this isn't Treasure Mountain, this is Treasure Math Storm. It's basically the exact same game as Treasure Mountain. Okay, so what you want to do is catch some elves. They have difficult, difficult math problems. Um, 2 plus 7 is... Um, 8. Oh, 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 no. The elf that you want to catch is... This one, well, there are two of them, I guess you can't really see which one. The one with the golden scroll, that's the elf you want to catch, because he has a hint. He tells you that you can find treasure if there are three snowballs. Okay, so let's get all of the treasure. You basically want to get all of the treasure on every level. And you also want to get all four of the special items so you can move on to the next level. Now you get these special items either by solving math challenges or buying them. Let's do a math challenge. The time igloo. Okay, so what time does the clock say? The clock says 2.30. Hooray! Okay, so this is 3 o'clock. Hooray! Let's see what happens if I get something wrong. Hooray! Yeah, I kind of miss the other version of the game. It's the one I'm used to. It has more sound effects, and you can cheat. But I, I don't miss it because you can cheat, I just miss the sound effects. Yeah, that's right, the sound effects. I mean, these are interesting sound effects. But I mean, we had more music in the background. Hooray! Okay, so let's leave. Now that I have all the treasure and all for the items, I can move on to the next level. And in this level, you want to get a bunch of treasure and four items. Okay, so where is the elf? Let me see, I should go to the store and buy some extra nets. Okay, I'm gonna pay three cents. Alrighty. There he is, there he is. Eight plus zero is eight. All right. And six snowballs. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now to get the four items. The 
gold room. Okay. Two is one plus one. Two plus one equals three. You guys can see that this is clearly a game intended for younger children. It teaches them basic math skills. Three plus one plus three is seven. Do 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 do! Hooray! Okay, six is four plus two. Do 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 do! Hooray! Now on to the next level, the final level. There are only three levels in this game. Okay, where's that elf? Whoa! Check out this big guy. Five. Okay, three, okay. Do 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 do. Right, so let's go inside the cave. The Crystal Cave. Five. Hooray! I'm going to stop cheering every time I get the answer correct, actually. Fifteen. And let me see, I think you get one cent every time you solve an additional puzzle. So if you need money to buy nets, this is where you go. Do, 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 do. The missing number, 14, 15, 16, 17. Just climb up the ladder. We drop in all nine treasures. And then you go all the way back down to the first level. Okay, and we got a flute. And we have nine treasures in total. Once you get 450, you get to see the end of the game. Yeah, so basically they want you to do this over and over and over again until you get 450 treasures. So let me see, 450 divided by nine, that'd be 50. I have to do this 50 times? My goodness. So that's why this isn't a full video walkthrough, this is why it's just a demonstration.